Hi, I'm Jim with We Develop Electrical Products. Today we're going to talk about OBS Studio. OBS Studio is an open source uh, broadcasting uh, software. And uh, you probably know a little bit about it because you're searching for it on the internet. So I'm not going to go into that great detail right now. I'm going to show you how OBS Studio can allow you to use your webcam and your microphone to show your image in the lower right hand corner like Glenn's being shown right now or you can put it in any of the corners or anywhere on the screen you want while you're still capturing your screen. Uh, now if you don't have OBS Studio all you have to do is go to uh, your web browser and select your favorite uh, search engine and type in OBS and select OBS download and you come up with obsproject.com open that up and uh, when you get to the download page you'll see that there's an apple version a, a or i'm sorry a windows version an apple version and a linux version my operating system is the apple or is the windows system so you just select download installer and follow the prompts for downloading and then uh, you open your obs studio and right now mine is running uh yours will be uh, uh just blank uh you can come up here and say collection and say new and you can select new kitchen or new uh, collection and it'll come up with a blank screen and your sources will be blank you'll have one scene selected we're not going to talk about scenes too much I'm just going to talk about sources. My sources are my laptop camera I'm using. Um, I'm display, I'm capturing my display, and I'm using my laptop audio device. So in order to get those, when this is a blank screen, you go to the plus sign and you come up with an all, a big menu. And I just start out by selecting my video capture device. And that video capture device uh, is just my internal uh, unit. And I, you can name this whatever you want. I just named it uh, laptop or display capture, or I'm sorry, laptop camera, and hit OK. And once you hit OK, a new screen will open up, and it'll allow you to select whatever camera you want to use if you have more than one camera hooked up to your computer. And I've only got the internal uh, camera, so you just select that and select deactivate when not showing. And then I just leave all the rest of this as, at the defaults. Hit OK. And now your image is showing up. And you can move that image around anywhere on the screen you want. You can resize that image uh, to anything you want. And I'll just put it down here in the lower right hand corner. And the next thing I do is I want to capture my display. So I hit the plus button again and go up to display capture. And I can rename this again to whatever I want to rename it and hit OK. Once I hit OK, uh, another screen will pop up and it'll say what display do you want to use. If you're using a multi-display system, uh, it'll show display one, display two, however many displays you have hooked up to your computer. I want to use my laptop, so I only have one display. So I just click on uh, that display and I click on capture cursor and then hit OK. And then the last thing you need in order to get the system that I've got running right now is audio. And you hit uh, the plus sign and audio input capture. And I just renamed it laptop audio. And so you name it uh, laptop audio, hit OK. And you just, when you hit OK, this screen pops up and it'll let you select a device. It's my internal uh, camera. And you can hit OK and then you'll have your in laptop camera. And you'll see them, the bar going across down here on my laptop audio. And in order to keep my image of my webcam on top, you use these arrows down here. Uh, if you move it down one, it makes the image go away uh, because it's underneath the display capture. 
So you just hit the up arrow to get it on top of the display capture and then my image shows up again. So that's all you need to do for that. A couple other things you need to do is go into settings and uh, up here in file and settings and go to output and now mine's being recorded so you can't change this but recording format I uh, you want to change this to probably an mp4 I uh, that's mostly the type of recording I use is mp4 uh, recording path recording path just means after the recording has been made where is that video going to be uh, stored and it's going to be stored at the default in the videos folder on my computer uh, so that's a uh, couple of things that I change. And the hotkeys, I use hotkeys to start the recording, stop the recording, pause, and unpause the recording. Uh, you just select, uh, just put your cursor in this box and select whatever key you want uh, to start the recording. And then uh, do the same for stop, start. I just selected the enter key and everything else and hit apply down here and it'll store all that stuff. Uh, so that's basically how to get set up and go to running. And now all you have to do, you also have over here a control bar uh, and that control bar is uh, start streaming, uh, stop recording or start recording. And mine says stop now because I'm being recorded right now. Uh, studio mode settings or exit x is pretty self-explanatory uh, so i'm going to show you now what you do you just minimize this and now you're recording uh your tabletop uh with your image in the lower right hand corner now you when you're actually looking at what you're recording uh your image is not going to show up in the lower right hand corner uh, because all you're seeing is the desktop but after you've recorded it and you review that recording, uh, you run that recording, you will see your image in the lower right hand corner or wherever you put your webcam image. So now you'll have uh, all this, your laptop shown with your image in the lower right hand corner. So now you can stop the recording uh, by hitting escape and restart your image by hitting enter. And now, uh, now it's uh, running and you're recording. So you can hit use the hotkeys uh, without your uh, OBS software up to hit the start and the stop button. And uh, just by hitting hotkeys. So if you like this video, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my video. It'll help me out a lot if you subscribe and uh, hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified on future videos. So thank you very much. I appreciate you watching and uh, goodbye.